Hey guys, what's up? Hillbilly Gaming here. Uh, kind of angry now because I just added that, added some commentary over all of this whole video, and I messed up and actually deleted it. So now I gotta redo it. So what I was gonna talk about is the Battlefield Hardline updates over some gameplay Battlefield 4 here. So basically, they started out. Uh, I started out so saying like the classes are different. They've had changes to all the, the support, recon, or not recon, but. Enforcer, you know, operator, repair guy. Battle pickups for the medic or defibrillators. Well, of course, anybody can pick them up now. To start out with the classes. So, that. The medic has also seen. I forgot. Medic is just. It's the same. Um, nothing much has changed besides. The survival's perk, which allows you to revive yourself after getting killed by an explosion or fall, or not fall damage, but road kill. Then the mechanic, the mechanic now uses a grenade launcher instead of the RPG, and they can hop in a car if you play in hot wire mode. I, I remember many a times where I was playing the beta and I got like 10,000 points, just a major point streak just by playing um, the mechanic from repairing in the back of the vehicle and just having my friend shoot off the side. I that guy didn't kill me though. Um, there's another one that says here, the support has also been changed, they've took out the LMGs, you know, they're battle pickups now, as you guys know, uh, they are, you know, they don't have C4, oh yeah, f oh, I forgot to mention something about the mechanic, they have the, the sabotage ability, which lets them place like, I don't know, I kind of like C4 in a way, but I guess when you interact with it, like a door, you know how you can open them and close the doors, I guess, like, put it on that, and when you open the door, it explodes and kills you, or you know, friends nearby. Um, but back to the Enforcer, LMGs are changed, there are battle pickups now in the um, Scar H and stuff like that for the cops. The battle rifles are now, um, you know, instead of the LMG kind of got tongue tied there. The LMGs are no longer back. I kept saying, why do I keep saying? Anyways, they've been replaced with battle rifles and those are fairly like forty thousand, thirty thousand dollars, something like that. But there was only two in the beta, so that's as far as we know of right now. Um, uh, here we go. The enforcer is uh, starts out with you know just this just shotgun, close up stuff like that, or, or you can use the battle rifle and stay long range. Um, then we got the professional. Professional oil doesn't have C4 anymore. They took that out. Um, you start out with, you know, the sniper with all, like, pre-attachments, just like you did had in Battlefield 4, except, like, some of the attachments, like, like, let's say the medic class, you start out with an AK-12 and the, the red dot and the grip. Uh, it's kind of like that, except you have, like, a scope, straight pull bolt, and something else. I think, it, I think it's a standing mag, but I'm not sure. Um, they also have changed how they work, because now... They can put down cameras instead of the tugs, but the camera is not as, you know, as good as the tugs because the tug, it was, you know, a 25 meter radius and it, it was constant. Now the camera is only a 25 degree radius and it only in that direction. And you can place like two or three down, I believe. And um, I guess that's a fight up. Now onto the vehicles. Here are the, this says it's fast paced. Gameplay has been changed. Uh, they say they have change the... Uh, let me read here, I'm kind of get... kind of losing my words there for a second. Um, it says here that... Yeah, I keep, I'm trying to say it, I just, I don't know, I get tongue-tied sometimes, sorry about that. But, uh, it says here they've fired all weapons in all kinds of environments, like, uh, just like you can... like they had in Battlefield 4, I guess. Well, they fired like, in, like the, you know, how you play the Metro, it kind of just like doesn't echo anymore. It's just kind of a last for a second. So it's like that. I guess they recorded the room and it echoed. Or just, you know, it, well, it doesn't echo. It just kind of goes away pretty quick. Um, it's like that. And, um, let's see here. Yeah, but then they just place it over where it needs to be. And then it's like, a, you know, outdoors they fire, you know, stuff like that. Um, the vehicles have been changed to like, and when you're, I guess you're riding in the muscle cars, the criminals, or the cruisers as police. More soup hopped up and stuff like that. Uh, the hacker mode's new. It says here, um, you can... 
updates. Let me read this. Okay. It says, unlocking Battlefield 4, how you can, you have to, uh, if you become a commander, you can just, you know, if you're playing a soldier, you can just become the commander at any time. But you have to leave the server and rejoin to be a soldier again. It says here you can just leave the commander spot and come back to the, uh, so, uh, agent, or, you know, they call them agents now, so soldiers and stuff like that. So you can go right, right back to fighting. Hold on. How <coughs> about that? Um, also says here that apparently you can, I guess this is in the highest mode in some buildings or something, but you can put, uh, like a, it's like a gas, you know gas, CS gas. Apparently, uh, the hacker can sabotage and like sabotage a room full of CS gas. So if an enemy runs in, it'll kill them or something like that. Uh, oh, this seems like a good way it could, it could be nerfed. Um, but here it says that an enemy can run in with a gas mask and disable the gas system. So that's a good. That's a. I think that's a great way. So to keep the keep the hacker from just constantly like nerfing, uh, gassing rooms and keeping people from being able to get in there. That's pretty neat. Um, it also says, oh, here's a quote. The, your ally, your, uh, your friendlies in the ground that are actually playing instead of the hacker. You can see those spots that are gassed and kind of make a choke point somewhere else. Like, let's say on the heist map where there's that one corridor where the criminals start out and you come through the garage and you come straight down and if there's a vault. He can gas that room and then the, uh, the friendlies you know, like let's say the cops run around into the security room and choke point that off so they can't get through. But an enemy could come in with a gas mask and disable that system. So that's that's a good way to keep it from being overpowered. I like that. Uh, let's see what else here. It also says. Oh, actually, that's about it. All right. Well, well that, was, that was pretty quick. Uh, yeah, nothing much else besides the veteran pack, which is for uh, Battlefield. Um, oh yeah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta do that. The veteran, apparently, the veterans pack is gonna be for anyone who owns Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, or Battlefield 4 who decided to get Hardline. Um, it's gonna contain a 200% boost. Well, two 200% boosts. I'm not sure what they do. Apparently, it's like objective and like tip. I don't know something boost. I don't know how to pronounce that. And um. Uh, I forgot what the other one said, I didn't write it down. Um, that's about it. I guess whenever the game launches, it, you can download it off the PlayStation Store when you get your game, it'll come with a code or something. Or you, you know, you get an email or something like that. But thanks guys for watching on Hillbilly Gaming. I'll see you guys next time. I just leave the rest of this to gameplay.